Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today we're just going to be cracking the corn, and if you don't know what that means, it just means like shooting the breeze or uh, just kind of bull crapping. So, I some corn. huh? I wish I had some corn to throw. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we went to the farm show. Uh, myself, my buddy Jake, my buddy Travis, and Brooklyn. We all went out. Uh, that was a good time. Lots to see there. Talked to a lot of people that um, haven't seen in a while. So that was good. We got some goodies there. So I got my Vanna White here. She's going to show you what's going on. I got, this is a big purchase. Great big purchase. Are you open? Oh yeah, I already set it up. Milwaukee 100 piece pack outfit set. Good deal. That was a really good deal. Um, so thanks Vanna for showing that. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of different bits in there, so that'll be a really useful and that was worth it for the case for 50 bucks. Can you believe that? He got his old man paper. Yeah, I got Lancaster Farmer. They were free. That's who puts on the show, so why wouldn't I grab them? Lots to read in there. I also got Progressive Forge for free, which I get them for free in the mail anyway. Uh, why did you need another one? I don't know. Why not? But this is the cool one. This is the big one. So big shout out to 4D, uh, what is it? Agricultural fashion, ag fashion, 4D ag fashion. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a toughie to show here because um, yeah, it's a little big. But I got two things from them. I got a pair of bibs. Yep, waterproof bibs for like milking, power washing, uh, working in the barn, all that sort of stuff. So I've been wanting a pair of them for a while. I had a pair. I took them to the New York State Spring Show while back in uh, State Holstein show and they got lost. They're like Otter Techs, but a lot cheaper. Yeah, they were a lot cheaper than Otter Techs. Uh, lady was super nice. And then I got a rain jacket, a high-vis rain jacket. Brooklyn wouldn't let me get the bibs in this color too. Uh, they were available. She said it looked like a traffic <laughs> cone. So well, I figured for a rain jacket, I want I want high-vis. It's completely waterproof rain jacket. It's got little thumb holes. So. Um, could, could honestly wear it milking, but I probably will never do that. That's what the thumb holes are kind of for. But, so you put your thumb in, and then you can put a glove over it, and then, then your hand's completely protected. But, I'm not going to worry about that. But, Alright, Phil, I saved the best for last. The best for last. You want to show it off? Yeah. I got a Richie hat. So shout out to Richie and Rider Supply for getting that to me um, stop by there that's who uh, we bought those bio rat agri fab uh, water beds through and we've also bought DCC water beds through them so uh, they were nice enough to give me that hat no, and, he had uh, it. <laughs> and a koozie and they a, gave him the koozie first and then gave he was the, like well I came over here for a hat and then he got a hat yeah they gave me a koozie and an ice scraper first which was nice enough but then uh, and I'm like, I really, really wanted that hat because I saw, I saw that hat on the Farm for Profit podcast. Um, sorry, I got, I got my graduation things dangling from my mirror, and they keep falling in front of the camera. They shouldn't anymore. I think I just fixed that problem. But uh, saw it on the Farm for Profit podcast with Megan the Dairy Girl. Her husband was wearing a Richie hat like that, and I said, Oh my gosh, I need. And then I saw um, Mr. Ryder was wearing one. I said, oh my gosh, I got I got to go over there and get one of them. So I did. It wasn't the first thing they wanted to give up. I got it out of them. But the other thing I want to talk about today, I, I, I want to talk about this for a while because, um, well, it's kind of near and dear to my heart because it involves the agriculture industry pretty heavily. But I just haven't had the opportunity, not the right video, I didn't want to make a video just on that, um, but today's a good today's a good day to do it because we're driving home, we're cracking the corn, uh -huh. shooting the corn, yeah, we're shooting the corn. <laughs> cracking the corn. Uh, I figured that it would be a good day to do it because we're driving home from Copeland Skill. We had ag ball last night, so today's Sunday. We're driving home. This video will probably be a little late getting out today, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so. A while back, there was a article. I, well, I listened to a podcast, and it was on it, and uh, that was the Morgan Zegger show. And then, uh, 
looked up the article and whatnot, and it's just amazing what the government can tell you, and they just expect us all to believe it. So, Good Ranchers, is that, where's that article from? Uh, the Ranchers are Okay, so we got the art club from GoodRanchers.com. I'll throw the link in the description so you guys can look it up yourself. It's just amazing. Um, so basically what went on is the government put out a food, new food pyramid, something they've been doing for years, putting out food pyramids. And it's supposedly um, like a tertiary thing of what we're supposed to eat, what, what it's, what's healthy, air quotes, healthy for us to eat. And it's just a load of bullshit, in my opinion. So my grandfather, my great-grandfather lived to be 96 years old. You know what he ate his whole life? You know what he ate his whole life? What? Raw, unpasteurized milk. Whole butter, whole salted butter, red meat, bacon, ham, probably sheep, I don't know, chickens. Like, he wasn't eating any of this crap that they were wanting to feed you in this thing. So, one of his favorite things used to be dipping uh, dipping toast in in eggs. Like, yeah, nasty in my opinion, but there floats in the boat. So, Anyway, so Brooklyn's got pulled up. What's what's a, what's a couple of the things at the top of the list? You just read them. Uh, watermelon, kale, frosted mini wheats, unsweetened almond milk. Just read the green ones. Non-fat frozen yogurt, chocolate covered almonds, orange juice, and honey nut Cheerios. Okay, so unsweetened almond milk. That's about as unnatural as it gets. Uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, processed in a factory. Um, it's nothing against Cheerios. They, they support farmers buying, I don't even know what's in Cheerios. Meat or oats or something, I don't know. But, uh, so, those things, you know, sugary, processed. Chocolate covered almonds. Chocolate covered almonds. Chocolate covered almonds. Something, almonds are healthy. Almonds are healthy, but covered in chocolate. So, what are the scores on those? Oh. Yeah, just what's the range? Um, between 100 and 76. So, if you're taking a test, think of this like a test. 100 is the best score you can have. And um, then you get down to like 76. So that's like passing range. It's like yeah. the government passed those foods. Okay, now what's the yellow category? These are like foods to be... Yeah, so those those top ones are like green go. Are like green go, like eat them, like they're good for you. Yeah, next ones are like probably like limited, and then the bottom ones are like to be avoided. So yeah. let's read the middle yellow ones. What's this the uh, name of the school? Can I do the name first? Yeah. Okay, so we have sweet potato fries or chips. We have eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> um, substitute and fried in vegetable oil. We have skinless chicken breast. Oh, we fried in vegetable oil, because we all know that's great for you. Um, next we have Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. What's the score on Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms is 60. Okay. Um, and then we have whole wheat bread, which is yeah. healthier than wheat. Um, canned pineapple and heavy syrup. Okay. Yeah, a sugary heavy syrup. Okay, what's the score on that? <laughs> um, that one's 51. And then we have boiled eggs. Boiled eggs. eggs. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we have whole milk. Whole milk. What's the score on whole milk? Forty nine. Forty nine. Not even. Not even. The government's saying that's like half as good for you as watermelon. Okay. No, watermelon is water. Yeah, but. <laughs> um, and then we have almond M and M's, and we have non-fat mozzarella cheese, and then we have ice cream cone with nuts. That's a 34. So it ranges from a 69 to a 34. 69 to 34. We got think. We got everything in there from whole milk cheese with failing scores to uh, Lucky Charms to canned pineapple. canned pineapple and heavy syrup. You guys have, I'm sure, have all ate fruit packaged in heavy syrup, and the whole time you're probably just thinking, 
this is so sweet, this is probably really bad for me. Uh, and that has a higher score than milk and cheese. Yeah. So that's like the eat with caution. Eat with caution. Yeah, is that a good way to put it? Yeah. Okay. And then the red, which is avoid at all costs, is um, whole eggs fried in butter. So eggs and butter. Eggs and butter. Oh my gosh. And then cheddar cheese. What's the score on cheddar cheese? 28. 28. Oh my god. And then ground beef is the lowest ground, out of 26. Ground beef. And so the government says of all the foods you could eat, you go to the grocery store, you have thousands of options to eat in there. They're saying ground beef, which is literally one of the most natural things you can get, it is a cow cut up and ground up. That is the only thing that happens that it gets ground up. They're saying that that is the worst thing you could possibly eat on that food pyramid. It's all of the like farmer and dairy products and stuff that's unhealthy. Yeah. So tell me there's not an agenda here somewhere, folks. Tell me there's not an agenda where the government is telling us that cheese, eggs fried in butter, milk, or the ground beef, chicken, all the things that when you think in your head, those are probably healthy things to eat, right? Yeah. All of that, the government's saying, no, no, that's not healthy. You should either not eat that at all, or you should eat it with caution. And I'm sorry, folks. I'm not. I'm not sorry, but I just, I just don't agree with that at all. That is, that is some bull crap. I'm curious to see where the lab meat would fall. Yeah. Yeah, our lab grown, our lab grown, uh, supposedly going to save the world. Bill Gates' economic or uh, eco-friendly meat that I'm sure is so healthy for you. You should. Did you hear about the thing where Kanye's growing his meat from his his DNA or something? His skin. Yeah, that's messed up. People are going to eat that. I don't know. That, that kind of sounds like cannibalism to me. Yeah. Manufactured cannibalism. But another. Another good show to the topic on this was uh, Barn Talk podcast. They're on YouTube and on um, Apple Podcasts and whatnot, Spotify and everything. Guys, he's um, obsessed with podcasts. Oh God, I love podcasts. I I listen to podcasts like literally all day, all, all day, every day. If I'm out working in the barn or if I'm out working on stuff or in the field or shower or oh, shower, yeah, I I pretty much always have the. Um, Pretty much always have a podcast playing, and Torque and Sawyer they do they do a great job. They have a few different um, style podcasts. They do they have guests, and um, uh, and they do like hot topics and stuff. But so yeah, uh, do with that what you will. I would probably uh, not listen to a damn thing they have to say, but that's just my opinion. What do you think? I would, I would just think about it in my head. Hey, what, so what were, what were people eat, eating uh, for the last two thousand years? And somehow we're all still alive and doing great. And uh, you know, before the eighteen hundreds, there were, uh, you know, modern medicine wasn't a thing, and hospitals weren't a thing. And somehow all these people still survived. But now, all of a sudden. The government's telling us what we should be eating, or advising us what we should be eating, and all of a sudden the hospital, hospitals are full, people are getting sick, people are obese, it's just ridiculous, and, and they think they have the right to tell us what we should consume. They think they have the knowledge to do that. I think we ought to just look at the past and think about it, you know, what What people ate, what people have been healthy consuming for years. Like I said, my grandpa and, and my grandma, for that matter, my great great grandma, great grandma, they lived to be well into their 90s, and they both grew up on farms, drinking raw and pasteurized milk their whole lives, eating meat grown on the farm, eggs grown on the farm, 
you they used to Jeepers. They used to go kill a chicken and, and eat it and eat it hours later. How fresh does that get? They live to be in the nineties. And the government's telling you you should be eating lucky charms over whole milk, ground beef, chicken, eggs. Well, they're not telling you what you can and can't eat. But it's they're, like, just, they're, they're, they're just trying to advise you. Yeah, but why is it all like the farmer products and dairy products, but you have the like lab crap that gets all the random crap added to it? Is it healthy? Yeah. Look at a gallon of milk. You'll see like three ingredients. You'll see you see milk, vitamin D, and do they have to include lactose on that because it has lactose in it? Maybe I don't know. Well, that's not an additive, anyway. I th I'm not sure, but you'll see two or three ingredients. Or you look at a package of ground beef. We add like anything besides like milk. <laughs> yeah, it just says milk. Yeah. But yeah, Brooklyn works at the Cobble Skill Processing Center on campus. So that's pretty neat. But, um, so I guess we're a couple of state workers because I work up at the College Dairy. But yeah, I don't know. The cows and I take the milk. Yeah. Yeah, we do all the hard work of milking the cows, and then they just come in and take their couple cans of milk and go make it make it into pretty good products, if I do say so myself. So, um, anyway, last thing. So Brooklyn, I'll throw a couple pictures in here. I think is what we'll do. But there's a link in the description too for this. Brooklyn was nice enough to make a few shirts uh limited edition rayfield farmer t-shirts and they have a pretty cool design on the back uh with the purple p and that was all phil yeah i made the design um because you know purple p that's my baby so um yeah so you can go grab one of them over there uh check them out it's Twenty-five dollars with free shipping. Um, help support the channel, keep us rolling. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys like what, I, what I'm doing, what I'm putting out. I'm trying. Uh, we're gonna keep her going. And see, see what it looks like at the year mark. Probably. Um, I don't foresee ever stopping making videos, but it would be pretty neat if we get a thousand subscribers. So, um, you're trying. I'm trying. We're, we're slowly gaining. I really appreciate everybody that's subscribed so far. Um, we've got 385 at the time, 384 at the time of this video. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I guess 385 people think that what I'm putting out is worth watching. So. I think I have to do a shout out. Did you think I have to do a shout out? Yeah, Austin's mom deserves a shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, my buddy Austin's mom, we were on a state officer team together for FFA. Uh, we, I wasn't on with his mom. I was on with Austin. But uh, she's probably my number one fan. So, <laughs> USA number one. But anyway, um, so yeah, she deserves a shout out. She, she texted me a couple weeks ago, and I didn't have a video for a few days. She's like, hey, where's the videos? We're, you didn't have a video this week. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I didn't make it home last weekend, and so I didn't get them out. But, yeah. Anyway, grab a T-shirt. Uh, eat your beef. Eat your milk. Drink your dairy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> eat your dairy products. Drink your milk. Eat your eggs. Fry them in butter, not vegetable oil. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> don't eat your Lucky Charms. I mean, if you're going to eat Lucky Charms, whatever, but don't go around thinking that they're healthier for you than beef or milk. I don't like Lucky Charms are that unhealthy. It's the they're marshmallow. They're full of sugar. Yeah, but like the actual, like, cereal themselves. Oh, yeah. Cereal itself probably isn't. They're still coated in sugar. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, beef is so much healthier. But. Yeah. So is milk. Yeah. I cannot believe that they have almond milk higher than dairy milk. That I don't know about you ridiculous. guys, but I go through a gallon and a half of milk each week by myself. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't lying. <laughs> but anyway, uh, grab a t-shirt. <laughs> like, subscribe, and eat your dairy products, and have a great day. Sorry for talking your ear off, but hopefully you enjoyed it.